Hey guys, welcome back to Expose Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about two things. A, the Expose installer got updated to Alpha 2 on the Lollipop based devices. Two, we're going to talk about a new module called Awesome Pop Up Video. Let's check it out. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start off by making sure that we have the latest version of the installer itself. We'll go under Framework and, well, actually, we'll go down under Download. That's the easy way to see it. Current version is version 3.0 Alpha 2. This was released recently, so I'll give you guys a link in the threads below to be able to basically download it. Once you have the, the two files downloaded, there is the APK, which is the installer, and then there is the .zip file that you need to flash through recovery. And this is, again, only applying to Lollipop-based devices. So what we are in Alpha 2 is purely for Lollipop. Once you have those two files, you go into your actual app drawer, uninstall the current version of the installer, totally uninstall it, install the new version of the installer, and then reboot into your recovery and then flash the zip file that you received, the one with the, I think it was at March 8th update. Once you have that, wipe that uh, cache, wipe cache and, and Dalvik cache, and then restart your device. It'll take a little bit longer for it to go through the first installation, but once you're done, you can reboot your system, you go in and then you can reset your SE Linux back to permissive uh, and then reboot, do a soft reboot within the actual installer itself right here. And once you do that, all your modules should be working. Oh, of course, before forgetting, once you uninstall the installer and uh, the actual APK and you install it again, all the modules will be unchecked. You have to check them back before you restart. But other than that, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the new actual module that I want to cover for you guys. It's called Awesome Pop-Up Video. And you'll notice there's two modules sitting in here and specifically the top one is specifically indicated for YouTube so that it works automatically and detects when YouTube is playing videos. And then you're able to basically, it'll give you a pop-up asking you if you want to, you know, exp have that video featured there. Uh, but the main benefit of this essentially is if you go into a video library and then let's say you want to play and you want to play a video, it gives you the ability of doing this. And then the ability of actually making it just fit the screen. And it'll go in here. Now, of course, this is not exactly a very exciting video, but essentially it's, this is a video that's in my library. I used my Nexus 6 to actually video, to, to do this video, and then I'm able to basically, you know, go back. I can go back and forth, play the video, stop, and of course I can close it and it goes away. But the second part of that module, which is really very nice, is when you go into, let's say, YouTube. And here we have Jordan Keys just putting in our Monday update. And you notice the video started playing. You'll get an automatic pop-up right here saying if you want to take that video out of the YouTube player. Sure enough, we have the video playing right here and it'll play really nicely. And again, you're able to use the video to play, you know, go back and forth and do whatever you want. Thank you, Jordan. And the benefit of this essentially is that you're able to customize this. And where it comes in actually as far as the compatibility with Exposed, we'll go into the actual module itself. It really comes into the bottom part of the app because the app itself will run without it. You're able to copy and paste your own link in here if you want to be able to basically directly pop up a video using a, a stream link. You're able to set your resolution here between the different videos. You can go as high as 1080p. I have that set there. Playback playing, uh, background playing. This is if you want to use it to be able to do background playing. So as the video is playing and you turn off your screen, it will keep the audio running. Really good for wanting to listen to like long podcasts. If sometimes you do like some stream concerts or something like that was posted on YouTube, works great. But this is again where it comes in with Exposed. It actually hooks itself to every single application that you want to use. Um, by default, it comes checked in with everything. I unchecked everything because I didn't want it to run on every single thing. But the example would be is you check the box and then you're able to go in and set it to either automatically play the video, so auto pop up, and then or if you want it to keep looping the video and play it that way. And if you don't, you just uncheck the box and it checks a lot of different things. I have it checked in here and at the bottom, I think if I'm not mistaken, I have YouTube also checked in to be able to use it. You're able to set it up to be your default if you're within your own, uh, let's say, gallery app. For me, I have multiple actual video playing, uh, video playback type of uh, software. I like to keep the option to be able to pick it every time. I know it's a little bit inconvenient, but for me, I actually just tapping on it and saying that I want to play in this, it's not a bad thing for me and it works very nice. Uh, again, you're able to put it in here and then once you're playing a video, oh, I forgot to show you this real quick. It does end up becoming a persistent notification, giving you the ability to download the video, pause it, or close the actual video itself. So you can close it from here and it goes away and it goes back to normal. So as you guys saw with the hands-on, the installation of the actual APK, or at least getting up to version 2 with the alpha release of the installer for Lollipop, 
Uh, it's not that hard. You just have to follow the step-by-step -step process. Two things I want to make sure you guys are aware of. Obviously, start with an Android before you do any of these installations, because if you have any problems, you can always fall back on that. Two, it still doesn't support TouchWiz. So if you're trying to get this to be able to go into TouchWiz, unfortunately, it's still not there. Uh, but if you follow the step-by-step -step instructions, you shouldn't have any problems. Again, better safe than sorry. Uh, the other thing I want to make sure you guys, the major changes here is obviously some fine-tuning within the actual installer itself and getting a better experience using CM-based devices that were having some concerns. Personally, I did not have any issues, but I did upgrade to version to Alpha 2 and it works fine. Also, now it actually has a better way of displaying the processes running in the background. So you don't necessarily have to always guess. You always had that one number. So now I have 6162. So at least I know what's working. Uh, the other thing I want to make sure you guys have is do you have to reboot, check all your modules and then do a soft reboot to be able to get access to them. The module we covered today was a really nice module. It has to have a secondary module installed with it to be able to work correctly with YouTube. But the main benefit of this module is the ability to get it to just give you the ability to do multiple things on your device. It works very nice in landscape and in portrait, depending on your orientation as far as where you want it with your device. And I like the fact that you're able to basically directly have it in your notification panel as you're playing a video. You can just pop it up, have it pop up as a video, and then go on your business and do other things, read your text messages, emails, all of the other things you want to do at the same time. So you can multitask truly on your device. As usual, this is one of the new modules that came out not that long ago. I like it. There's a pro and a free version, so definitely support the developer if you want to go to the pro version. I think they call it a golden ticket, so you can actually use that. Um, and there's been quite a few updates from the developer, so a lot of support working on this, the actual module itself. As usual, like and subscribe to this channel, like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys soon.